All right, my friends, welcome to your 27th MySQL tutorial in, I don't even know what I'm gonna teach in this tutorial. I think I'm just gonna wing it. But in the last tutorial, what we did is we left off with inserting this row of data. Now, whenever we did, we explicitly told it that we wanna insert an ID, a name, and a cost. But we didn't give it any values for the seller ID and bids. Now, by default, there are some times when you cannot give it a value and it's going to go ahead and just insert the default value which was in this case zero now the default value for numerical numbers <laughs> not the other kind of numbers the numerical numbers the default value for numbers is zero in whenever you have strings of text or characters like this that might be a better way if I just highlight the column name instead. Whenever you have text, the default value is null. It's going to say N-U-L-L, -L and it basically means nothing. Whenever you see the word null, it means nothing, empty, void, space, nada. So, again, the default values for numbers is zero, and the default for text is null. However, some tables will not allow you to insert no or null value some tables are going to explicitly say that you have to insert a value for every single column and if you don't you're going to get an error message so just be prepared for that you know in the last story i showed you guys how to insert only some columns just be prepared that depending on how you create your table you have to or not have to insert all the values and i'll teach you guys about that whenever i show you guys how to create tables in like two or three tutorials but for now it's, i just want to warn you guys so heads up so what I want to teach you guys in this tutorial is how to insert multiple rows of data. So what you can do is you can just go ahead and type a bunch of insert into values and you know just make a bunch of those statements and insert them row by row by row or you can do all in one query and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So go ahead and hit insert into, I say hit a lot, whenever I say hit I usually mean type insert into items and of course we want to do it the proper way so ID name might as well insert everything cost seller underscore ID and bids now after this go ahead and type the word values just like before now how I like to do it is I like to type the word values right here and whenever I'm working with multiple rows of data I like to put each row on a new line so on the first line again what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five items in each row, or five pieces of information for each row or each item. One, two, actually I'm gonna use one, two, okay. Calm down, take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five. Now, again, after every um, piece of information you need a comma after every row basically so I'm gonna add I don't know let's just say three rows for this tutorial and my mouse isn't working there we go so that and this one now remember after the last row you don't add a comma P people do this a lot and if you do you're gonna get an error message so for the first piece of information again I think we left off at 103 we inserted like beef on a stick or something so this is 104 and I'm gonna sell some beef whoa take it easy caps locks I'm gonna order or excuse me sell some beef chops my favorite kind of chops and I'm gonna sell these for 799 my seller ID is 1 and bids equals 0 now my next item is 105 of course and I'm gonna sell some jelly pockets my favorite kind of pockets and these are 450 each and again one for seller ID that's Bucky Roberts and zero now for the last thing that I'm gonna sell it's 106 and what do I want to sell big old sack of ham and I'm gonna sell this for 995 quite the deal if you ask me and my seller ID and number of bids so as you can see basically the rules are quite similar to what you would expect you go ahead and write insert into and then you write the order and number of columns basically how do you want to insert your data so whenever you type values each of these is a new row of data again how do you insert data well however you define it up here now just remember after each row there's a comma except after the last one if you're programming this in PHP or something there would be a semicolon right here 
but since you're just writing this in PHP my admin you can just leave it out so now let me go ahead and hit go and well looking pretty good so we can go ahead and verify this if we just click on the items table do a little browse sort by ID descending and come on baby no whammy no whammy there we go so there's my nice beef chops jelly pockets and a sack ham by the way if anyone wants it quite the deal and no bids so that is how you insert multiple rows of data again I like to take each row and put it on a new line it just makes it a little bit easier now I want to teach you guys about one last thing when it comes to inserting data to be honest this is one of those things that I don't even know if I should show you because it's usually a waste of space but it's information that may come in handy one day so you can also insert items into a database or a table rather using a select statement now let me give you an example of when you would do this say that uh, I don't know say that you had a website and you just bought out eBay because you know your website's pretty successful now you want to merge your websites together so you have all these items in your table but they have all their items in that table so are you saying that we're gonna have to hire some guy to go through and physically type like a thousand or two thousand insert statements no what you can do is you can insert data into a table from a simple select statement now again I only have one table items here but pretend that we have a different table set up with the exact same structure named more items and it just had a bunch of other items so what you would do is something like this insert into items and you would of course write how you would want to insert them ID name cost seller ID and bids and now instead of writing values which you would have to explicitly type each piece of information row by row you can just use a select statement so select ID name cost seller underscore ID and bids from more items now this more items table is just a fake table so I'll actually name it fake table so again if you had another table then what this would do is it would select all of the rows from that table and it would insert them into your items table in this order right here so again remember whenever you're doing this it's probably better to use a where clause because if you don't use a where clause then it's gonna select every single row now again I don't have a fake table but this is how you would do that basically take all the rows from another table and insert them into a single table so I guess it's good if you're merging tables but otherwise why do I say that this is not a good idea because at first glance it might seem quite useful well it's not a good practice because then you're gonna have the information on this table and this table and as we know one of the rules in MySQL whenever you have duplicate information it's usually a waste of space so guys please this is your warning so basically um that's it that's a tutorial you may use this whenever you maybe you're making a new table with your high priced items or your new items that you want to appear on your homepage but generally stay away from it that's my warning so anyways thank you guys for watching and um yeah, don't forget to subscribe, add me on Google+, Plus, all that good stuff. Send me a million dollars on my website, and I'll see you in the next video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about updates. See you then.